Yo, what's happening? My, my name is Destroying Sanity. For some reason, I can't talk today, so if I mess up a lot, it's because I'm dead. Anyways, let's get right into it. We're going to be making this tier list. I actually made this tier list a while back, but I guess I didn't upload it on my YouTube account. I don't know how, but it just happened. But now we're going to do it. I know people have been asking about what I think about every Call of Duty. So today, we're going to do it, and we're going to do it right. Okay. Let's start out with uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Classic. We're going to put on OK. We don't have a Classic one, so we're just going to consider Black Ops 3 and Classic together. It's a it's a pretty good game. I like it. I played a couple times online. I haven't played it with like a lot of people, but I still played it. It's pretty nice. It's a little bit different from the games that would come after when it comes to multiplayer. So it, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. And uh, that's pretty much what I guess gotta say. I'm gonna put it on the okay. It, I'm pretty sure it could get a good if I played with more people. And there is discords for people that make groups when they play like Call of Duty 3. There'll be like over 10 people and stuff. But hey, I'm okay. And the game is okay. I don't mind trying that some other time in the future. But for now, it gets an okay. Call of Duty Classic and 3. Next game I'm gonna be talking about is... Uh... Call of Duty 4. <clears throat> Call of Duty 4 gets a good. It's a good game. It's not bad and it's not the best for me. Uh, I do not like, I do not like the spawn camping. Uh, spawn camping has happened in every Call of Duty game, but this one I feel, for me, for, for my personal experience, a spawn camping in 4 is probably the worst. It's good with the basic kill streaks. The guns feel good. Everything feels fine. Besides that one little thing, but it doesn't happen all in every map. It just happens in specific maps. Other than that, it, it's pretty fun. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. We're going to be talking about World at War. World at War gets a great. <coughs> the reason I get I give uh, World at War a great is because I don't like tanks. I hate tanks. I don't like tanks. I freaking did I say I hate tanks? Because I'm going to say it again. I don't like tanks. They're able to be destroyed and stuff, but I still don't like them. Um, the reason it gets a great is because it has the multiplayer zombie mode. So, you know, that's pretty great. And it makes the game really fun because of the zombies. The multiplayer is still pretty good. Not all maps have a uh, tank. So that's one thing to take into consideration. Most people usually do boat against going to the map that has a uh, tank. So, you know, that's something to take in consideration. The game is the game is great, and I freaking think it's just amazing to play even to this day. Next one is Modern Warfare 2. We're going to put it in the top tier. Top tier. Top tier. All right. So this is a very bias, uh, you know, rating. Top tier. Modern Warfare 2 for me is it's it's fun, but I don't know if it's fun because it's a great game or it's fun because... I played mo more hours on this game than I have have in the other ones. I wouldn't be surprised if I played more hours combined with the rest of the games. <laughs> uh, I would. I forgot how many hours I have, but I have a lot. And I'm talking about a lot on this one. And I enjoyed the heck out of it. You had a bunch of chaos. You had new tubes, quick scoping, shotguns, submachine. Every gun pretty much was dangerous in that game. That's one thing I liked about it. The most OP guns were like... AK-47, the FAMAS, and that one bolt sniper. I didn't really snipe that much. I forgot the sniper name. But yeah, either way, you can still use any gun in the game. That's what was fun about it. And the kill streaks were insane and chaotic. So <laughs> you definitely know I'm going to put that in the top tier. Next game is uh, Black Ops 1. I'm going to put it in the top tier. Oh yeah, top tier. I love the zombie mode on this. And I did like a lot of the multiplayer things they added in this game. Like an example, they added a money system where you can unlock, you know, attachments and pretty much guns. The main reason I like this a lot is they had a bunch of multiplayer games like Gun Game and Sharpshooter. Dude, those were fun games. I wish they would. I know they implemented them in, in the future games, but nobody really plays those game modes that much anymore. It was one of those things where they played them when the game came out. And, you know, those are fun games, but I enjoy the heck out of it. It gets top tier. It's a really great game. You know, I always have fun playing this game. Next game, we're going to go with, let's see, Modern Warfare 3. It gets uh, <coughs> okay for me. 
originally my previous video that I made that for some reason I did not upload I put it on suck but after figuring it out what I was doing wrong I realized the game is okay it probably could be good maybe I'll play some more no it'll stay on okay the reason I'm gonna put it on okay is because you really got to be running an ACR the whole time you're playing uh, I made a video I think it's called the one gun game or something or you have to use this gun I don't remember I'll put it probably a link I always hated this game with a passion like no joke if you know me I hate this game with a passion but I started using the ACR and in that one video dude I was rocking it I was freaking destroying people because one thing I noticed I didn't realize it every time I would die I would get killed by a guy with an ACR all the freaking time. I didn't notice that. I went back and watched my previous videos. And when I got killed, I started to see a pattern. I started to look at my previous videos and go, dude, everyone that's killing me is using an ACR. The majority of the time. There is people that do use random guns at the time. But the number one gun is the ACR. It's the one, one of the most OP guns in this game. And I didn't realize it. And then when I started using the ACR, dude, I was doing great. I was destroying people. I was getting kill streaks, dude. It was hard for me to even get kill streaks because I always get killed by people. I shoot somebody and then they shoot me and they kill me instantly. It makes no sense. I should be able to outgun you. If I start shooting you, you should be dying. But apparently that wasn't the case. As long as you have an ACR, once you start shooting someone from the back, they can't. They'll get instantly killed. I don't know. ACR is OP. Uh, the game became okay after that. I actually had fun for the first time in a long time playing Modern Warfare 3 after using the ACR. So yeah, it's a one gun game. Um, I know they had the survival game. The survival game, I don't really care too much about it. I played it for a little bit. It was their take on like having a zombie mode or something to compete with, you know, Treyarch. But survival's alright. I think they do have special ops. I forgot to mention that in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, you got special ops. I think this one also has special ops, so that's pretty fun too. More multiplayer aspects, and it's all right. It's it's okay. I probably should put it in good with just counting the special ops, but I haven't. Pl I only played the special ops just to get the trophies. I don't play them because I want to play them, so I'm keeping it in okay. Next game, uh, Black Ops Three gets a top tier, top tier, top tier because it's so good, man. It's so great. I love it. Okay. What's so great about this game? Come on. Tell me, tell me. Oh man. The transit dude, you get transit, right? Oh man. Transit was like an open world zombie game for the first time you're able to go anywhere you want without having to open doors. You could go to the bus and go all around town before even opening doors it was it was great dude it was freaking amazing the freaking zombies man was amazing the multiplayer was also good they implemented a lot of stuff uh, i gotta give a shout out to modern warfare 3 starting the whole leveling up your gun that's pretty cool but once again it's a one gun game let's go back to black ops 3 you're able to uh pretty much get any i'm talking about anything you want you could load out have no guns you could have a loadout with just a primary no secondary you can have a loadout without any you know primary secondary uh special grenades or you know flashbangs or whatever for some reason i forgot how to say the equipment i, I think they were just called equipment and i don't even want throwables whatever it was great, dude. You're able to do anything. You're able to make your your. You had like ten points, and you get able to put a bunch of stuff. Like let's just say you're just a primary gun guy, and you want like a bunch of attachments on your gun, so you just put like extra stuff on it. It's pretty cool. Or if you want a bunch of perks, like I do, I like to get like six perks in my freaking pretty much uh, loadout. It's pretty nice, dude. I like it. Really great game. I enjoy the heck out of it. Till this day, it's it's really great, dude. Next games. Okay, let's keep it keep something in mind. I don't have that many hours with these games. I probably have like under six hours in each game. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but you know I don't really play that much video games. Uh, at least not that. I do upload video games, but I don't play that much, dude. Come on, ten minute video is me playing ten minutes for that day. Anyways, let's get back to the subject. Okay, Ghost. I'm gonna put Ghost good. I know it might frustrate people that Ghost is a bob in Modern Warfare 3, but for me, Ghost is good, pretty good. The killstreaks are nice. The guns are good. The maps are pretty decent. 
Uh, it's not that chaotic, and I think they, they took out support kill streaks. I don't remember. I didn't pay too much attention, but uh, that's the one thing Modern Warfare 3 had that I hated. But other than that, the game is pretty nice, and uh, I enjoy the heck out of it. It's not that bad. Uh, I didn't. I stopped playing. I, I stopped playing PlayStation 3 like in 2013 or 14, so I didn't get to play this game until literally like over almost 10 years later. Next game is Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, I want to put it on okay, but I'll put it in good just because it's such something new. Um, I don't really like getting killed by someone being up in like two stories high with their little jetpack booster, but it does bring a lot of uh, different stuff. And I, I, I think it's part, it's all right. I still have fun with the game. The guns feel good, the kill streaks are not bad. It, it's a pretty good, fun game when you're playing it and you know i have the heck i have fun dude that's all that matters right and you know i, I like these two games they're pretty good I, i'll probably move them probably an okay or great the more i play them but for now they go on the good because they're they're pretty fun and uh, i can use any gun i want i don't have to just focus on acr3 my guy dude is it even called an acr3 i'm tripping out right now man all right black ops 3 it sucks. Dude. I freaking freaking hate this game. I freaking hate this game, my guy. Okay, why do I hate why do I ha hate freaking uh Why do I hate freaking this game is it's not it's not a bad game, dude. It's not a bad game. Zombie is pretty good. Uh multiplayer is pretty nice. But why, if I'm saying this positive stuff on B Black Ops 3, why am I, uh, why am I saying that? Okay, I'll tell you why. The game sucks, dude. The graphics and the frame rates are really bad. Keep in mind, Ghost and Advanced Warfare, they simultaneously were released with, like, PS4 and stuff, I believe. And, but they still play pretty nice. I don't have any frame rate issues with these two games. But for Black Ops 3, I think anyone would tell you that Black Ops 3 has such a bad, and I mean bad freaking uh, frame rates. It's ridiculous how bad it is. And it just ruins the game. I get like headaches playing this game because it's just so wonky when it comes to like the frame rate. When you're shooting somebody, the frame, frame rate just starts dropping, dude. That's not the... That is not something you want to experience while you're trying to kill somebody. That your frames are dropping? No, man. That's ridiculous. Nobody wants that. But anyways, that's pretty much my tier list. I want to make this tier list as fast as possible. Uh, not waste too much time. Maybe if you guys want a longer tier list. I, I can, I guess. If you guys want to hear me rambling. But that's up to you. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. And remember, remember to subscribe, share the channel. And do all that stuff that all those generic YouTubers always say. Oh, subscribe and like. Uh, share the channel, people. It helps the channel. It actually does help the channel, people, for liking the video and sharing. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I'm out. Peace.